Hi all my lovely foodies, this is it here. I have always been a fan of kimchi and many years ago I was very lucky to learn how to make kimchi with an amazing Korean chef. And today I want to show you how we can easily make kimchi at home. Okay, so first we're going to cut the napa cabbage into bite-sized pieces. And we're going to rinse the napa cabbage in running water for a few minutes. Transfer a layer of napa cabbage to a large mixing bowl and sprinkle some coarse sea salt over the napa cabbage. And we're going to give it a good mix. And we're going to repeat until we're finished with all the napa cabbage and salt. And pause and turn the napa cabbage every 30 minutes just to ensure that the napa cabbage is salted evenly everywhere. The total brine time is about 3 hours to 4 hours. We know that the cabbage is ready when the white part is soft and flexible. Rinse the napa cabbage in running water until all the salt has been removed for about 3 times. And we're going to drain the cabbage until there is no more excess of water. In a saucepan over a low heat, add the water and sweet rice flour. If you can't find sweet rice flour, you can also replace it with all-purpose flour or glutinous rice flour. And constantly stir until the paste becomes sticky and pasty. For about 5 minutes. And let it come to a room temperature for about 20 minutes. In a food processor, transfer in the garlic, ginger, apple, onion, Sandlands fish sauce, anchovy fish sauce, salted shrimp, and plum syrup. And blend it until it becomes a paste. In the meantime, we're going to slice the scallions into 2 inch pieces. And slice the Korean radish into matchstick pieces. Also cut the carrot into matchstick pieces. In a large mixing bowl, combine the rice paste, spice and seasoning paste, Korean chili pepper flakes, and give it a good mix. Also, we're going to transfer in the scallions, Korean radish, and carrot. Mix well. In another mixing bowl, we're going to put in some napa cabbage and also the spicy paste. And give it a good mix. And we're going to repeat this step until we finished with all the napa cabbage and the spicy paste.
transfer the kimchi to an airtight container and ferment it in your fridge for the next five to seven days. For a more tangy kimchi, you could also ferment it under room temperature for the first two days and then transfer it to your fridge for the next several days. Mmm, mm. <laughs> very crunchy. It is spicy, it is tangy, it is full of umami taste. So good, absolutely authentic taste. I would love to stay in touch with you on Facebook, Instagram, and also YouTube. So bye for now.